Hello, Potato, and welcome back to the 13-day Halloween countdown. Today is day number six. It is one week to Halloween. Have you finalized your plans? Have you picked your costume? Have you got your decoration plans all worked out? Have you bought your candy? And have you bought the extra candy to replace the candy that you're going to eat over the next week before the trick-or-treaters come? Or do you even get trick-or-treaters? Or are you a booge? You know, when people that turn off the lights and, like, just, you know, Go to the back of the house and sit there and watch episodes of Simpsons Treehouse of Terror while eating all the candy yourself and ignoring the children out front begging you for their yearly supply of sweeties. Well, regardless, doesn't mean you can't enjoy as we go through the Funko Pocket Pop, Disney's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas 13-Day Countdown Calendar. It doesn't specifically say it's for Halloween, but what else would it be for? They are going to have an actual Christmas one with 24 windows in it for Christmas. So clearly this ain't that. It's clearly for Halloween. And if it wasn't, it is here because we're a week into it and it's a little late to turn back now. So it's once again time for Jack and Sally to give it a rest, you two. As we look at window number six. So up to this point, we've had Jack, we've had Sally, we've had Locke, but no shock or barrel. And then the mayor and Dr. Finkelstein today Number six will be... I, I'm done guessing. I, I I still guess that Oogie Boogie will be 13 and watch it be today. But other than that, I'm not I'm not guessing for the days anymore for today. Tomorrow, maybe I will. But today, I am not. And uh, I don't know. I don't know from the touch. Let's rip it open and see who we've got. Oh, it is Barrel. I kind of thought we'd shock before we got Barrel, but it is Barrel. It's very interestingly designed Barrel, because unlike uh, Locke, he does not have a solid colored mask, but there's a like, got orange and yellow. That should look interesting under the black light, don't you think? Got a little lollipop there. He's got some green feet and hands and green skin under the mask there. Blue hair. Ah, uh, you know, I'm honestly... In the light, in the, in the normal light, in the the, the 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 white light, I'm not as impressed with him as I was Locke. The fact he doesn't want to stand up also is not helping me be impressed with him. Stand up, you little butterball. There we go. So we've seen the light. You know what? If that's the way you want to be, we'll just prop you up against the wall there. Now, there, fall backwards now. All right, all right. So we've seen him in the light. And eh, he's, he's, the sculpt is decent. I, I think the face is weird. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, what is weird on a Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pocket Pop? But uh, we've seen him in the light. Let's see him in the dark and turn out the lights. And then bring up the black light. And uh, pfft, not bad. I feel we started off strong and they've not, they've not kind of kept up. They were better. The first couple were better than these ones have been as we go along. But uh, kind of got like an incredible Hulk thing or Beast Boy going on there with the green skin. I, don't know, I feel like I feel like the mask would have been better if they'd made it either all orange or I guess it have to be all yellow because you wouldn't want to be all orange because because Locke's already all orange. I'm assuming shock or other barrel. No shock. I'm assuming shock is going to have a green face being a witch. Uh, I almost want to feel like if you just had gone with like a like a really bright white, how that would have looked. And yeah, he didn't want to stand up before. He's not going to stand up now. Let's lean him up there. That's uh, I mean. How do they look next to Locke? Because that's, I mean, they're, they're a trio. They have to go together, which is to say they'll have to fall over together. Well, there we go. Well, this is just aggravating. I mean, this is why full-size Funko Pops come with stands now, though, isn't it? Because they don't stand up well at all. I do spend a lot of time picking up ones that I knock off the shelf. Wow, you're just... You're just really gonna be, you guys are embarrassing me. We're, you know, we're recording this. This is on video. People are gonna see this. And you two just, I feel like I need to get something flat in here to stand them up on the table. Mm, table's just not, 
Give me some more space. I feel like I had this problem with the 13 day one a couple years ago too. All right, next to each other. Do they, do they bring each other up? What do you think? I think I think Barrel's a little bit of a disappointment, honestly. Locke was really good. Barrel, not so much. But still, they can't they can't all be rock stars now, can they? But this puts us about the halfway point. We have seven more days to go after this. I hope you've been finding it interesting or entertaining. If you did, like and subscribe. Hope you're liking and subscribing. Well, I guess you can't you can't really subscribe every time, can you? That would you didn't you'd be unsubscribing and resubscribing and that wouldn't count for much of anything but i hope you're liking i hope you're liking and i'm uh, leaving comments uh today's comment today's comment um are you a booge let me know do you give out candy on halloween and i know if you are in a place that is like really remote and you don't get trick-or-treaters okay you you get a pass. We'll just go with, would you be a booge if you lived in, in the suburbs and children came screeching down your street, begging for candy. Some of them even actually remembering the same trick or treat because their parents raised them properly. Are you a booge or do you turn all the lights off and hide in the back of the house and watch TV and ignore the kids and hope they don't egg your house? Let me know on the comments below. Traditionally, I am not a booge. Uh, even last year we didn't decorate, we still had the light on, we still had the candy ready to give out. Just nobody ever came for it. It was sad. And we had a lot of candy left over. But that's gonna wrap this up. Thank you for watching, and come on back tomorrow for Day 7.